Hello, uh, welcome to Operation 700, Vlog number three. This is of course going to cover week three in the program, as Vlog number three would suggest. So week three, uh, start the intensification on the program. So if you look at look at our volume load and intensity chart, um, volume has melted off by a fair bit and we're starting to ramp up now over the next three weeks. So if you watch the last episode you'll be aware that I made the decision that the intended frequency of three was too high. So this week's sessions well, basically there was two deadlifting sessions. Session one, four sets of three at 225 kilos with two sets of three at 180. And then session two, which was two sets of three at 242 kilos and one set of three at 180 kilos. And I'm <laughs> smiling now because um, I may or may not have done double that volume at that weight, which is a lesson to everyone. You should definitely read your own programs. <laughs> And I wonder, as, as I will discuss a bit later on, my back has been absolutely fucked for the last four days. And now I think I probably know why. So the relative intensities, um, session one, 75%. Extra volumes done 60%. And the main workout was done at 80%. This block, um, given an average intensity of, let's bring up calculator here. Because I'm dumb and I don't math. The average intensity is 71%. Today's vlog is brought by Evian because it's Monday night and I don't drink on a Monday night normally because that would make you an alcoholic. Or so people people just judge you. And um, we're going to for we when we talk through the workouts. Just gonna play them on YouTube because it's easy. Okay, so this is workout one, um, which was Tuesday. We'll see two sets of deadlifts, so it's 225. Don't know, didn't feel great to be honest. It was obviously moving fairly well. Thankfully, as to as seventy five percent should. And um, but yeah, felt a wee bit rubby. I'm feeling a bit on my left hand side that I'm maybe not getting the same drive as I think I probably should. This set looks a bit better. Um, well, pretty happy with my back angle. Um, the bar could be closer. And we just came back from a, the Borshiko seminar down in London on Sunday. The reason, one of the main reasons why I haven't recorded this sooner. There's one wonky ass bench press. <laughs> this is with the. Uh, uh, there's all kinds of things going on in this video right now. And um, this kind of boner thing right here, that is a, a tight kicking pad turned sideways and shoved up my t shirt to act as a board. I am performing this feet up because the, these benches are far too big. And well, I'm not, I'm not the smallest person in the world, I'm 5'11. But I can't get my feet down on the floor because the bench is too goddamn high. And obviously I, I don't lie down good and I'm all over the fucking place. Um, this was 170 for 8 on this. I think the top set was 190 for 4. Bit of a ridiculously low, um, bit of a ridiculously high board, sorry. Well, I should have said. And this was the top set of the safety squat. Um, 200 kilos for... Four. Now, just off the top of my head, I think I went 120 for 10, 140 for 8, 160 uh, for 6, and then 200 for 4. Something in that sort of ballpark. Um, ter like, horrible bar to use. It kind of it really wobbles quite badly when you go past parallel, and I found as you'll see, really just got to kind of pull it in to stop it wobbling around like fuck, which ends up 
making the squat far t- way more kind of back heavy than I normally would squat, which isn't ideal when you're doing a deadlift f- <laughs> focus program. So uh, session one kind of fucked up my back pretty good. All right, Sash, what up? Um, so that's session one. Uh, session two was purely upper body. That's what I did. Uh, I did like football bar bench press. Again, so we got rid of the sets of 12 this week. Went 10, 8, 6, 4. This is the top set of the football bar bench press. Again, feet up because bench low. And this is 170 for 4 on the football bar, which wobbles around like crap on the handles because the bar is not balanced very well. Um, reasonably happy with this. Don't know what that equates to in, in real life, but I, I, I personally think I'd probably lose a fair bit on this bar just because the way the, the the balance is on it. It doesn't really sit plumb like a normal bar. It's like a normal bar. Hello, would you? A normal bar, you know, the balance will sit through the wrist. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, oh I'm really bad at this. <laughs> There we go. So the balance would normally sit there, whereas your grips here, and it's really hard to get it the, the get it centered properly. If you ever use a football bar, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So when you take it out, there's a lot of kind of wobble on us. I'm not I'm not pretending like I'm wanking. This is kind of the way it goes. Um, it's really quite difficult to get get centered on it properly, just with the bar the way the bar is manufactured. There's a lot of a lot of wobble on it which makes life difficult and I didn't actually find although I think my, my body feels well my, my shoulders feel anyway feel not bad actually considering that I've went away from straight bar work and went on the dumbbells and kind of weird handles and partial reps and all kinds of silly things um, but like this is the last day of February so I'm jacking all the bullshit bars and getting back to the straight bars Hopefully it'll help my back quite a bit as well because I was fucking struggling in the last four days. Okay, so this is session three. So this is session two of the actual program. Uh, workout four. Uh, didn't take any videos because it's just dumbbells and pish, so it's not really much point in watching it. Okay, so this is 243 kilos for four sets of three, which of course should have been two sets of three, but oh well. So this is set one. It felt fairly difficult. Um, all the bar speed on that one was quite good. Again, this is one thing maybe that I was feeling. I was feeling the bar was kind of out in front. I think back angle looks pretty reasonable there. Um, knees are, are quite a good bent position. <laughs> uh, it's quite a good position overall, I think. My shoulders look to be like in line with the bar. And back's in a good angle. Feet are symmetrical. Bar looks close to my shins. Take it up past lockout. Uh, I don't know. I think my legs might be a bit too straight in this position. My shoulders might have drifted in front of the bar a wee bit. Coming back to center. Yeah. I think from uh, the Bar Sheepo seminar, there was one guy who was doing the who took part during his deadlift and the feedback that Boris gave him was he straightened his legs out too quickly now I think I might be guilty of the same sin and maybe it's why I struggle to lock out so much but he was saying, now Boris was saying basically if the legs straighten out too soon so if your legs are straight by the time you hit your knee then it's no longer legs and back acting together and it's only the back muscles which makes your lockout a lot weaker. I tried some effects obviously and because of that you've missed the first rep. Uh, so this is set four, so pretty tired by this stage. So it's probably a better angle to see. Um, maybe hips a bit too deep there. Yeah, hips definitely too deep there. You can see I'm rising up so I may need to make a note of that. Set my hips a bit higher in the next session. Back angle is not perfect but not bad. So, bar's pretty close there, which is good. There. I think my legs are probably a bit too straight. Um, one of the drills that Boris went over, I'll probably put in, not this cycle. So I'll see through the cycle and then I'll work off the back end of that. 
uh, Boris was saying a good lift like he's got a few combo lifts where you pause at different places so you'll maybe do a full lift and then come down to the knee back up down to the knee back up and then back down and that would want be one rep and you might do like three sets of three on that with like 60 percent or 70 percent and he was saying that you really need to drag the bar back into your uh, a common mistake he said he found was that people as soon as they got past the knee they weren't actively pulling the bar into their uh, legs and uh, I guess that kind of acts as a counterbalance when you kind of squeeze these glutes and push your hips forward it's not the greatest back angle of all time so definitely some food for thought and things I'll be looking looking to implement in my own training there's lockout right there now uh, you can probably see that's it's probably too much of a hip I think it doesn't look like um, it's a smooth movement and the lockout looks quite bitty so yeah it's very similar doesn't doesn't look like I can use my knees much when I'm locking out so maybe some things to take away and look at in a bit more detail and um, my back was absolutely screwed by the stage so this is not only the worst camera angle of all time but this is the cambered bar so go rid of the box because boxes are silly and I uh, just went straight up squat the camera bar so this is 190 for a set of four again basically what I did was from the last workout I just added 10 kilos to all my working weights so I did a set of 10 at I think 140 uh, that's exactly what I did a set of 10 at 140 a set of 6 at 170 and then I just decided oh wait no I did 8 at 170 and then 6 at 190 that's what it was I decided by this stage of the workout because the two forties had absolutely tanned me to, to, to knock off the fours and just to be happy with this. So this is one ninety for six. Great got there. Um, depth's actually quite good and moving reasonably well. I uh, discovered that I no longer can grip it with my hand, so I'm just kind of resting my wrist on it again. This is a an interesting bar to use. Um, can't say that I'm sad to see the weird bars out of my program and I'll see in the next kind of few weeks if I've got any benefit from it other than constantly being sore through my lower back and um, yeah so that's all the workouts and um, I did workout one today so where I'm taking so I'm following this program so this is week four so tomorrow I'll be do my first deadlift workout which is 4 by 3 at 225 uh, I may look to jettison some of this to get rid of some extra volume I maybe do some 180s in the warm up to the 225 session and then uh, maybe maybe jack the one on here and then <clears throat> Uh, for my lower button or squat and bench press, I'm going to start following more of a Chico inspired volume based approach. I'm not going to just take one of Chico's programs. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to adapt his uh, way of working. Probably start off with reduced volumes. And uh, basically, I'm going to go session one is going to be squat, bench, squat. Session two, which is tomorrow will be de bench, deadlift, bench. Session three will be squat, bench, squat. And then session four, which will be uh, week four, session two of this program. Again, I'll, I'll just go, probably go deadlift, bench, deadlift. And I'll maybe look to incorporate some of the kind of partial, or not the partial range, some of the, the little drills that he went through to hopefully try and uh, work on my form a wee bit, try to get a little bit tighter. Okay, I okay, hope you enjoyed uh, log three and I will be back on uh, Saturday with the next one. Cheers and good night. How did I stop? <laughs>